Hi there, this is Fabia Murri and I'm quite excited because I can show you a bit of the newest Synchron Steinway model D piano from VSL and I think it's the perfect chance to see how the whole Synchron series blends with other libraries or any other kind of audio signals thanks to their MIR technology and the Synchron Stage Room Pack. What's better to do that than a piece of chamber music for piano and voice? So here you can see my piano MIDI performance and here the vocal recording of course. Let's hear a few bars of the voice alone, all plugins off. As you can hear, a pretty dry recording. Uh, the driest the better here, of course. I did my best with the room at my disposal. All the cuts you see here, it's because I really prefer to work on the volume even syllable by syllable when I have time before entering the compressor or even skipping completely a compressor when dealing with operatic voices. Time to turn on an EQ at the SR that's to remove low and high frequencies and in general to remove everything that gives that sense of presence and of close miking and that would ruin our efforts. Now finally Mir, here it is and it's window. So now you see you have a simple cardioid and Mir invites you to select venue Okay, here is the list of the studios in my collection. We need to select the synchron stage, of course, but in the wide position. That's how they are sampling the synchron series. Load. And here you are, inside the synchron stage. Now, when you load a VSL instrument, Mir automatically load the right profile. Uh, so my suggestion here is to select the profile that is most similar to your source in this case, of course, solo voices, soprano is the right choice. And it's showtime. Let's hear the magic happen. Okay, great, but there's much we can do. Remember, our goal is to blend our voice with the synchron piano. That picture provided by VSL helps us to figure out where the piano and all mics were during the sampling. Let's start moving our virtual mic where the main deck tree is in the picture. In Mir, there are a lot of virtual mics that you can select. There's really a lot of experimenting there. You should spend some time. The position should be around here. Now let's move the voice in a front position. That should work. You may want to reduce the length of the reverb since you will apply most likely another reverb for the tail on top. You may want to make some EQ on the reverb itself, very useful, but this time I want to be as natural as possible. So let's just reduce the ratio here a bit. And now let's listen to the result. I would say we're getting there and it's time finally to go back on the piano. There is the interface 
And the only suggestion I would like to give you here is to check the MIDI sensitivity. I found great comfort reducing it a bit, playing on my Motif XS. Okay, the mix window. You can find a lot of presets here, of course. And I can show you I moved a bit all the close mics on the left. You have a cue for each mics on board. Very useful. And now let's play it. I can't answer that for every library of the Synchron series, but if you ask me here, uh, do mics provided by the full version worth it? I say definitely yes, they really had something. Before listening to the piano and voice together, uh, let's turn on this EQ I made before uh, to add some low mids. And Miracle, that is the algorithmic reverb provided with Mir, it's been a surprise for me when I purchased it. It's beautiful and I use it most of the time on my tracks. It comes with presets designed for every room you have in Mir. I just changed the length here. 1.8 seems to be the magic number for the most famous opera holes. Okay, now I would like to play the whole thing while I tweak a bit with all parameters. Okay, thanks so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed.